Hey guys, what's going on, Resto Rods? Hey, uh, we're gonna do uh, some tool truck updates today. We got a few things and a few things around the shop before we leave for our trip. So let's take a look, see what we got. Okay guys, so starting out, we got the big flex head half drive ratchet. So I had the straight one and um, my Matco guys knew I was looking for a flex head. I'd never used a straight one, maybe like one time. And um, he got one and I was like, dude, I would use that flex head a lot more than I would that straight one. And uh, he's such a good dude, man. He swapped me out because he knew I hadn't used the other one. And uh, let's check out a part number on this big guy here. So it's gonna be a SHLF80A. Um, obviously, you guys know the dealio. Rest of Rods likes his ratchets. So, uh, I don't own very many half. I mean, I've got a regular, kind of like, not standard length, but a little bit longer than standard length. And I've got a big boy. Uh, kind of need something in between, but we'll get there. All right. Next one. We got the big boy. Uh, Dead Blow. I think this is the biggest one they make. It's 56 ounce. HBFE 56. Um... Uh, Got to use it once already. We'll add that to the hammer. Uh, got a few things messy in here. So, we're getting there. Next in line, we got the big boy uh, ball peen. It's gonna be HBBD 40, uh, 40 ounce uh, ball peen. They do make a 32, but uh, the difference you know it's got a little bit shorter handle and some different weight but uh i don't really need the 32 man i think the 24 and the 40 i mean I don't, I don't really ever need anything in between you know what i mean so really we're missing a eight ounce dead blow the little guy um and the 32 other than that we've got all the ball pins and the dead blows um they make a couple different of these but those are fine they work for me so next the big purchase okay this is in the big purchase this is a wobble set 8 to 15 and that comes in this promo kit the um, part number for this promo kit is ctr 714 ak 2 mss so it is the quarter drive um, ratchet kit with the additional wobbles. Um, as you can see, I've already made my own cover for this. Um, it's funny because this stuff here, I actually got it off of the Mack truck. Um, it is a, it's really what it's meant for is to sleeve stuff and protect stuff. And um, it's just been laying in my box for a while. So uh, I went ahead and put it on there. Wasn't trying to do anything fancy. You need to clean that up a little bit, but uh, clean that one up a little bit. But um, just to protect it, obviously you can see everything else is unused. And, uh, you know, this comes in the kit like so. You guys know I needed these because I've got my other quarter drive set here. But I didn't have any metric ones. Uh, I had been waiting and holding off and holding off. And here's the deal. I think this kit retails at like $6.95 or $6.59, okay? My homie hooked me up on a good deal. Basically, for the most part, uh, getting these free. Um, those are like $240 or something like that retail, maybe a little bit more. Um, so, basically, getting this and these free is what the deal is. So, um, you know, I tested out all those ratchets. And for what I do uh, on a daily basis right now, what I really need is a quarter. I'll probably uh, sell or maybe even trade in my 38s Mac later and uh, buy the, um, I, and then here's the other thing. I like the brute, I like the thought of the, but it doesn't, I like the speed myself. So I'll probably get the old short one, uh, you know, the faster 3.8s, the 45 foot pound or whatever it is. Um, 
I don't particularly care for uh, for the brute guys. I mean, it's just the speed thing's killing me. Uh, so that's that. Um, probably put the three eighths up for sale. Clean it up and put it up for sale. Um, okay, let's see what else we got in my tool bag here. As you guys know, I've been working on my pickup. I haven't emptied out my tool bag yet. Um, let me find it here. So, Matt Guy had this access for, I've been using this thing already. It's all dirty, I haven't cleaned it up. Uh, regular length Maxxis. I had a uh, old like 36 tooth bent handle flex head and not the good flex head, the one that's like bump, 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 bump. It's got little clicky deals on it that keep it and it moves anyway. It sucked, the older head style, and uh, traded it in, only 025 on this one. Um, you guys know I love these Axis ratchets. Um, I don't know how many teeth they are. I think these are like 90 tooth. Uh, if you guys ain't checked these out in Walking Flex Head, you need to do it. I've got mine on order. I got to use some and I was in love with them. Uh, in other news, uh, let me think here. Hmm, that's it, guys. As far as I know, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, no, that's it for the tools. No more tools this week. For a while, we're going to Tennessee. In other news. Like I was saying, the mini bike is alive. Okay, I haven't finished the tank. You guys know it's got a fake tank that goes up there. I'm probably gonna fill it and use it as an actual gas tank and get rid of that thing. But I'm kind of liking it there because it hides how ugly the top of the motor is. So I may just leave it there and find a way to fill it. Uh, you know, this was meant to be just a toy to run around and uh, <clears throat> that's exactly what it is powder coated chassis powder coated parts all that but uh, guys this thing is a freaking monster okay uh, you know straight pipe I mean it's a monster uh, so uh, I wasn't expecting that uh, at all actually does run like shit when it's cold though uh so we're gonna have to work on that but uh, yeah that torque converter deal or cvt whatever continuously variable transmission or constant variable whatever the hell they call it uh, it's kind of strange because you don't have initial you crack the throttle it doesn't move you i mean you gotta give it a little more cheese before it'll start moving and once it starts moving that son of a bitch boogies let me tell you. So, uh, I need to do a little bit more research on that clutch deal. Maybe there's some adjustments I can do or something. I'm not sure. Um, uh, not really a mini bike kind of guy, but, um, uh, I still need to put the uh, chain tensioner on it and probably going to build an exhaust for it, but I ordered this little header deal just so I didn't have to make a flange. And, uh, since I'm leaving this week, uh, I decided against building an exhaust for it right now, but uh, you can see there I'm gonna come right up through here with a pipe boom put a pipe right there, but um, For now, that's what we're doing is this so uh, anyway That's that t-birds wired uh, Drove the 32 finally that's all I wanted to do before I left was drive the 32 um let me flip you guys around here. All right, guys, so that's it. Uh, next time you see me, I'll be in a truck. 
on my way to Tennessee. And uh, kind of concerned about it because I suck at driving. Uh, when I was a kid, my family was a trucking company. When I was a kid, I used to go with my dad and my uncle, and uh, I'd get like an hour, dude, and I'd be in the back up in the bed snoozing, you know? I can't, I can't do it. I never have been able to. I'll drive for like an hour, and I'm fucking, <sighs> fucking snoozing. So, um, that's not good. So most of the time I let my wife drive since we're gonna be in two vehicles, I'm gonna have to nut up and deal with it and make sure I put the kids in her car. So, uh, you wish me luck there, but um, anyway guys, I think that's it. Uh, filming this on my birthday, I also filmed my other video today. And uh, I just take off, go do my thing, let everybody leave me alone for a little bit, go home when I'm ready. That's how it goes for me. So, uh, anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Rest of the rods out, deuces.